These are some of the lunches that my kids took to school this week and in this video I want to mainly focus on the recipe. So here we have lasagna soup, sticky Asian chicken and creamy parmesan soup. So let's get started. First up is the lasagna soup. I've been wanting to make this since it went viral on TikTok last year and I'm not sure who made the original recipe but I've seen enough videos and kind of just put the ingredients together. I made this for dinner and I used a combination of ground beef and Italian sausage then I added some seasoning I love adding ground fennel and tomato based sauce it adds so much flavor I also use a jar of marinara sauce crushed tomatoes and beef broth and you just want to break apart some lasagna and add it into the pot you're going to cook this until it reaches your desired consistency maybe about 15 minutes or so this was pretty simple to make and it made quite a bit of soup which is great and I did skip the ricotta, mozzarella and parmesan mixture because my kids don't really like that but I did use a lot of parmesan and a little bit of cream. I have also seen a couple of videos where they add the mozzarella cheese in here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious but I decided to skip it. So to reheat this in the morning, I like to add extra broth because it does get thickened in the fridge overnight and adding that extra broth keep this pretty hot until lunchtime. With the soup, they also had some pineapple, blueberries and palm seeds, also some cucumber slices, a fruit roll up and parmesan crisp. It's so delicious in the soup. I made the sticky Asian chicken in the morning but I did cut and season the chicken the night before. This just speeds things up in the morning and I used chicken thighs and totally forgot to add minced garlic and ginger here but that's okay. This is actually super quick to make, maybe about 15 minutes. You want to just sear the chicken until it is fully cooked. Then in the meantime, combine the ingredients for the sauce and add it to the skillet with the chicken and cook until the sauce has thickened pretty simple super quick and you can easily double this recipe with that they also had a half of a mango some carrots and this chocolate egg mousse that i got from trader joe's this was so yummy into a pre thermos here i'm just adding some rice then the chicken with extra sauce to pack this, I just add an ice pack and also some ranch dressing for the carrots just in case they want it. These thermoses, lunchbox and lunch bags are from Lunchbox just in case any of you are interested. So this creamy parmesan soup is also simple to make and uses ingredients that you may already have. Start by sauteing some diced shallot or onion and some minced garlic and some butter. Then you're going to add some chicken broth, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, red pepper flakes would also be nice in here. Then you're going to add any small pasta. I use ditalini, cook until al dente, then add some frozen peas in the last two minutes of cooking. I added some cream, but that's totally optional. Be sure to temper the parmesan by mixing some of the broth first then you're going to add that to the pot if you ever use a wooden spatula and see the parmesan sticking to it this helps prevent some of that and just check for seasoning you can also add diced ham if you like but we prefer the protein separate here we have some fruits ham and pepperoni on a stick the soup and fruit snacks and that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i will see you next time bye